and I didn't have the guts to say it to you before, but you can't go. Because I'm not going to let you go. You can't leave that behind you. Because who am I going to talk to? And who's going to make me laugh at stupid jokes? Because I'm the only one who finds them funny. I can't stop thinking about you, too. The girl that almost ten selfies a day. And she still doesn't realise how beautiful she really is. Sorry, yeah. You made a right show me, didn't you? Okay, you know, I've made up my mind. Milton Keynes, it, it's just the best place for me. Oh, no, it ain't. No, it is. A, a fresh new start. I've just, I've messed up so many times. There's nothing here for me. Yes, there is. There's me. Let's see if I, I don't know what I'm doing half the time. And honestly, I don't know what my future's going to be. But all I know is I want you to be in it. Always have. Do you really mean that? You know I do. And I'll go to Moe and Keynes if you ever have to. Because I'm not going to lose you too. Not now. Me or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, this is just, you know, this is me making a gesture. Yeah? Yeah. Go on then. Okay, um, right. Cat Moon with the stars as our witness. <laughs> what? Sorry. Okay. Um, with the stars as our witness. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Why are you laughing? See, I, I, no, because I know when you do that, it means you're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Romantic. Well, that's where you're going wrong. Wrong? I've not even started yet. <laughs> you're trying too hard. Yeah. Just be honest. You're in. Oh, can you feel that? It's racing. That's because of you. Because no woman ever in my life has made my heart beat this fast. And being with you is like getting a shot of adrenaline every day. <laughs> that sounds dangerous. Yeah, it's dangerous and highly addictive. <laughs> like all the best things, Alfie. Exactly. I love you, Catman. And I will love you until the day this old ticker gives up the ghost. So what do you say? You are the softest old sod I've ever met. Is that yes, then? Listen, I do. Where we going? I wanted to show Mum the scan. Why, right, Sarah? Oh! Look at the name. Oh! I've never been so happy, Mum. Did you bring it? I didn't do this properly last time. This was my mum's mum's... One of them. She had a few husbands. Put me off marriage for good. But that's just me. <laughs> Louise Mitchell, will you do me the honour of marrying me? <laughs> yes. I don't want to know, then I understand. There ain't no need for this conversation, Jim. 
Yeah, but I remember what I said in the graveyard, you know, and I ain't taking it back. I mean, you don't feel about me like, like what I said I felt about you. There's no need to be embarrassed. I ain't embarrassed. Yeah, but you ran away. I thought you wasn't coming back. Yeah, well, I had to think, didn't I? You can't go springing feelings on a person and not expecting to think. Oh, no. Don't go putting words in me mouth. You don't know. You don't know nothing. You don't know how I feel about you. No. All this wearing of the heart on your sleeve ain't necessary at her age. Yeah, but I've... It's I've... just words. I never met a man who meant them anyway. I do, though. I love you. I don't think you're half bad, neither. Yeah. I said so, didn't I? Dorothy, will you marry me? I tried calling you, but you clearly didn't think I had the right to know about you meeting him. It all happened so far. You should have told me. I can't keep doing this song and dance with you, do you? All right, this is really hard for me. I have to think what's right for me, for the kids, for all of us. I knew it. I get it. And I haven't been honest with you. I should have been braver. I told you how I feel. A bit late for out in garden, so I ain't got a ring. I love you, Denise. I want to take care of you. And Raymond, too. So. Will you marry me? Is that yes? Of course it's yes. <laughs> <laughs> I give you this ring as a token of my love. As a... Well, nearly. <laughs> as a... <laughs> As a token of my love. And as a symbol of our marriage. And as a symbol of our marriage. Do you have personal vows? Yes. <clears throat> They're in my suit. It, it doesn't matter. It does, it does matter. Oh. You are the best looking man that I know. I know a lot of men. <laughs> <sighs> you know, back when, back before we first, um, I said to you that, that you see me, that you get me. You always have. And I know that I get things wrong quite often as well. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, you get things wrong. But when you do, I, I forgive you. When I'm with you, I... I am better. I'm whole. <laughs> That's me done. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't just that cheeky smile. The fact that you're proper gobby. Mm. <laughs> and yeah, maybe a bit broken. But you told me, Ben, that whatever my head is telling me to always follow my heart. And today I can't hear anything else. Not yet. Before you, 
It's like I was put together all wrong. You pick me up piece by piece, and you put me back together just the way I should have been. I promise to speak honestly and to listen. Sometimes. Oh, of course so. <laughs> but most importantly, to remember that I am us. Yeah. Before you, Ben, I was so, so lonely. But I ain't lonely anymore. And so, Callum and Ben, yeah. you have made the declarations prescribed by law and made a solemn and binding contract to one another. It is my very great pleasure to declare that you are now lawfully oh. husband and husband. Come in. <laughs> Marriage isn't something which should be entered into lightly, nor is it something that once entered into we should take for granted. It's not just about love either. It's about commitment, understanding, sticking together through bad times as well as good, providing an environment into which one day you may bring children. Ricky and Bianca have come here today to exchange their vows and to share their joy with their friends and family. They're here to cement not only their own relationship, but hopefully to bring together their respective families to form one larger family. It's a day when their love should inspire us all to remember that as Christians we're called upon to love each other. And as they take their marriage vows today, Perhaps to remind some of you of the vows those of you who are already married have taken yourselves. Maybe to ask yourself if they still hold true for you. To love and to cherish, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health. These are things we promise, not simply for our wedding day, but for the rest of our lives, until death us do part. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Those whom God has joined together, let no man put asunder. By the power vested in me, I now declare that you are husband and wife together. You may kiss the bride. No. Oh, it's an old church, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose so. So, how have we done it then? Yeah, are you happy? Yeah, it's the best day of my life. Uh, 
I'd send you a change if you want. If only every man would offer that. <laughs> his clothes. I don't care what he's wearing. You look amazing, Mum. Ready? and to celebrate the union of Michael Carter and Linda Bernadette Peacock in marriage. Do take thee, Linda Bernadette Peacock. Do take thee, Linda Bernadette Peacock. <laughs> to be my lawful wedded wife. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I, Linda Bernadette Peacock. To witness that I, Linda Bernadette Peacock. Do take thee, Michael Carter. Do take thee, Michael Carter. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. Linda Bernadette Peacock, I give you this ring. Linda Bernadette Peacock, I give you this ring. As a symbol of all that we have promised and all that we share. As a symbol of all that we've promised. And all that we share. Love you. Love you too. And I give you, Mr. And Mrs. Carter. Somebody crowd me with love. You asked her yet? I was waiting for the right moment. Well, when's that gonna be? When she gets her bus pass? You know, I don't think I've ever been this happy. I think Daddy's going all soppy on us, Lulu. Now that I've got you on your own... Mark! In front of the baby. <sighs> Later, maybe. <laughs> Look, I wanted to ask you something. Something important. Come and have a go this for me. Not now, Martin. Oh, your friend, I'm going to beat you, you big wuss. Come on. <laughs> You're going the wrong way. But I'm supposed to know which way to go. Well, you could try going the same direction as the other cars for starters. Right. You realise you'll be up now. Catch us sneaking down in the middle of the night to practice. Taking days off work. Shutting all the curtains, turning up the volume. She won't do any of the housework. Sit there all day ordering takeaway pizzas. We'll have to book her into one of those clinics. <laughs> Computer games anonymous, wean her off. The whole house will go to pot, you know. And then we'll have to look after Martin, save him being taken out of care. Well, it's the least we can do, to provide the poor kid with a stable home. Of course, they might not let us. Why not? Well, we'll have to prove that we're responsible enough. Yeah, there is that. Barrable and his bird living in sin, they might not like it. No. Unless... What? We got married. Do you think that'll work? Yeah, well, it might do. For Martin's sake, uh, only, of course. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. So what do you think? Mark Fowler? Are you proposing to me? I think so. Well, shouldn't you get down on one knee or something? I'll get down on both of it, Lal. <laughs> You're serious, aren't you? Very. The 
couple are now about to make their vows to each other. So would the guests please stand? The bride and groom may wish to face each other and hold hands. As always, we start with the groom. So will you please repeat after me? I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I, Lee Michael Carter. To witness that I, Lee Michael Carter. Do take thee, Whitney Dean, to be my lawful wedded wife. Do take thee. Do take thee. Would you like me to repeat it? Do take. Do take thee, Whitney Dean, to be my lawful wedded wife. Where's show? No dogs allowed. Me too. All this soppy stuff gives me indigestion. I'll give you this ring as a symbol of all that we have promised and all that we share. <laughs> Lee and Whitney, in the presence of friends and family, you have declared your marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. It gives me great pleasure to declare that you are now husband and wife. <laughs> <laughs> Well, according to your phone message, what you really want to eat is me. Oh, that is so ancient history. In fact, you're going to need a time machine to get back to that place. What's that? Another one of your dares? Oh, dares are all too. We're all done with that, remember? So, um... Don't want to marry me anymore? Now who's being irritating? It, it doesn't work if you repeat the joke back, Ryan. I'm not joking. Taking a risk, <laughs> isn't I? Jumping in feet first for the sheer thrill of it without knowing what the hell's going to happen. That's how we want to live, isn't it? Mm. All right, let's hear it. Surprise, sucker. Got your back, huh? Janine, you got me a long time ago. I kept saying it, but you're either too stupid, deaf, or defensive to listen. Or maybe I was letting you down gently, and either you were too stupid or vain to understand. Or too smitten. With the sickest, most screwed up, poisonous girl you're ever likely to oh, lose your eyes. Like to. I'm gonna fall for that kind of sweet talk. No games, no dares, no jokes. Janine, I'm jumping. Are you gonna jump with me? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 